We continue talking about data list matching in Grasshopper and in this tutorial we're going to focus on the shortest list option. You can find this component under sets list and the, at the very bottom you can see the shortest list component. Similarly to the longest list component, let's just reconnect the outputs from the construct point components to the A and B inputs in uh, shortest list component. So we just allow the data to pass through this component before reaching the line component. Notice that in Rhino viewport nothing has changed and this is because uh, these two lists of points uh, has the same number of items, so the same number of points. Uh, in order to change it we need to change this count input for one of the items. So now I'm reducing the number of points in one of the lists, the one on the right. So you can see how the shortest list component solves this discrepancy between two lists. It solves it by prioritizing the shorter list. So it takes all the items in the shorter list and connects it with um, matching indices in the longer list and as soon as it runs out of items in the shorter list it stops connecting to the other one to the longer list. The shortest list component is a zoomable component um, the same way as the longest list component is also a zoomable component so if you zoom in uh, enough on it you can see options to add additional lists uh, to be solved here. Similar to the longest list component, the shortest list component also has these sub options here um, to alter the algorithm. So the default option is trim end. The opposite one is called trim start. So let's pick that one. And in this case, um, the shortest list component starts to connect the last items uh, on the list, so starting from 5 in this case and connecting it to the last item in the longer list. That's uh, an item with index uh, value 9 and then going subsequently to the smaller uh, indices until it reaches 0 and in the shorter list and then it stops connecting these two lists. Both of these options, trim start and trim end, are very commonly used. The last one, the interpolate, takes the items in the shorter list and tries to interpolate possible connections with the items or indices in the longer list. So average the connections. But again, this option is for more advanced use. Now let's see how we could apply the shortest list component in a different context. Let's begin by creating two lists with the numerical values. We're going to create these lists uh, manually using panel. So I grab a panel, put it on canvas and I'm just going to type in few uh, numerical values like 7, enter 10 enter and 21 and click somewhere on canvas i'm going to grab another panel double click on it and type in several values same way i did with the first one just make sure to uh, type in more values so that we have two lists different in length let's say that we need to perform addition between these two lists. So we need to add these numerical values. Let's go to the component palettes under math operators and choose addition. And now let's connect the first list, the panel, to the A input and the second panel to the B input. No warnings here. Let's go to the parameters input grab a panel so we can see the output and uh, the output panel is empty and we have this orange wire 
which says that there is a, a problem. Currently, the numbers in the input panel are being read as a column of text, not as a list of separate numerical values. And to change that, we need to right click on the panel and choose to turn off multi-line data option. And we have to do that for both panels. So now you can see that the panel uh, has changed and we also see the rows and uh, data paths. So now we can perform addition. We can add the values of these two lists. By default, this addition is performed following the logic of the longest list. And this is why in the output we have um, seven items. Let's look into this a bit deeper. So the addition component now takes the items from the longer list and adds to these items matching items from the shorter list. And when it runs out of matching indices, then it just adds the last uh, value, in this case 21, to all the rest of the items. By now you probably know what we're going to do next. We're going to go under sets, lists, and grab the shortest list component. And then reconnect the panels and the addition. So this is how using the shortest list, we add only those items that have matching indices in both lists. I encourage you to experiment and try other ways to make use of this component. We have covered basic aspects of the shortest list option for matching different length data lists. In the next video, we're going to continue this important topic and we're going to review another very popular component used for matching data lists. I will see you then.